Hey there, um, everyone. Sorry, it's uh, hard to film just by myself here, but I'm doing some touch ups in this um, A liner RV. It's a 2006 model. It had some water leaking from the roof area up here. I'll show you up there. Water was coming, getting in from some seams right on that edge, the far top edge. And just over time, it was creeping down and damaged all of this. Uh, you got water stains over here down here the wood's still good but it just looks bad you know so i've been trying to work out a way to fix it and um at first it was kind of it's very difficult because uh you've got a lot of color variation in here i don't know if you can see it but if i can somehow get in the light you've got like some beiges some grays and they're all very kind of streaky and blended so i went to hobby lobby Sorry everyone, let me just get this focus again. I got this pack here of paints that were on special for $7.99, just acrylic paints. And you've got like a whole bunch of colors. So I plan to use those as the tint. Um, I used, not that one. <laughs> I used this one here, that, a little tiny bit of red, um, some gray, I didn't use the black. And I may have used a little speck of brown, the brown, I can't remember now. Uh, but mainly these ones here. If you have to add a little bit of brown, you can. Um, this is the area that I've already done. I'll try and show you if I can kind of get out of here. All that there did have a whole bunch of staining all the way along it. You can kind of see it very faintly in the background. But on the whole, it doesn't stand out at least like it used to. Um, I can probably go over with another coating. That area there's a little bit better. Oh crap, we're gonna add giveaway end. Sorry everyone. There we go. Okay, so the bridge red area. You can see that was done. The bottom of the two cupboards was done. That whole area along there was so bad. It looked terrible. And I have done that. Um, and then I just finished doing this area down here. That was actually all the way back to the bare wood. That was kind of a little harder to do because there was no laminate behind it. I also did the bottom of the drawer area there. And some of those drawers, the edges were completely just knocked off and swollen and kind of just not looking good. So I tied up those edges there, it looks so much better. Also did that little railing across there. And this is, it didn't look as bad as this one but this is what i have to do next but you can see that's <laughs> it did look like that on the side um not as much of it but it still had a lot of that and so that's the side i'm going to be attempting to do next um then we have it inside the kind of storage area here as well you can see some and then of course those areas over there so we have a whole bunch of New seals coming for this camper. Um, it takes like these foam seals here. Um, a lot of them are just kind of coming out. They're not really in there properly. And so that's kind of contributing to the problem here. And um, we're gonna be replacing that mattress with another one. The kitchen table also got some damage as well. Um, the kitchen table is gonna be the next project. Um, I'm gonna be looking for possibly re a replacement so I don't have to make it myself. But if I can't find a replacement, then I'm gonna be buying the wood and cutting it myself and um, getting, um, let me turn this around. Um, using kind of like one of those little, I can't remember what they're called now. Um, so that you're kind of cutting saw kind of little thing that's got a little blade on it. It's like a, I think it's like a rotating tool, a rotation tool, something along those lines. So I'm gonna use that to kind of cut and curve the table edges. And then I have to cut into the edge of the table um, probably about half an inch for a special little kind of strip. Uh, one of these chrome strips here. Don't know if you can see that properly. But one of those goes around the table and then the tabletop looks like that, same color. So that's kind of gonna be the next project. But just want to kind of uh, give people an idea of what they can do if they do have water damage or they laminate. Um, in their camper and they don't want to replace it with all brand new wood but the wood's still solid and good um, you just want to kind of 
get rid of that stain and um, as long as the wood's solid and it's not soft it's not rotted out you know you don't have to replace it you can just you know give it a little bit of uh, new life and blend it in with the rest of it and make sure you repair the original source of the leak so that you're not going to create another problem down the track and then have that staining come back you do want to make sure that you fix it properly and this is more like a um, just a way to kind of help mask that so it's not so bad in the meantime so I hope that helps um, those that are trying to do renovations and things on these campers um, just hope that it kind of gives some people some hope that you don't have to just rip out all the wood which I kind of was contemplating but that would be a really big job but I didn't really want to invest thousands of dollars into paying someone to do that so anyway um, just make a comment in the comment section like the video and um, yeah we'll hopefully have a part two on this Thanks for watching.